Hey everybody, this is Larry Asbury Jr. aka Blue Man Rule with Oak Perform Radio. And I am here with the developers of the Talos Principle. Uh, go ahead and tell them your name and tell them a little bit about the game. Hi, my name is Damien. I work in Acrodim as a CMO, where M stands sometimes for music, sometimes for marketing. <laughs> right. And everything needs to be done when we are working on a game. So, hi to everybody. All right, fantastic, man. Now, um, so tell me a little bit about the studio behind the Talos Principle. I've been watching tons of, listening to tons of podcasts for Game of the Year, and you guys are constantly in consideration. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the studio and what Talos is all about. Well, let me tell you first a bit about a Crow team. You know, nobody expected this game from a team like Crow Team. We are mostly known for the first-person shooter called Serious Sam, as oh, you may yeah. be aware of, yeah. So it's a... Uh, uh, doing Talos was doing something completely different. You know, after 15 years of serious Sam and shooting and having fun with uh, first-person enemies, stuff like that, we wanted to break out and do something a bit different. So, uh, while we were prototyping the new serious Sam, <laughs> it always started with serious yeah, Sam. Yeah, yeah, while we were pro prototyping the new serious Sam, uh, we invented some new mechanics that in the end turned up to be the major mechanics shown in the Talos Principle. So we had so much fun with that, that somebody eventually said this needs to be a completely another game. So, as we are known for um, pretty laid back story, you know, like <laughs> Serious Sam games are fun, but uh, we, needed, we needed some really good storytelling here. So we invited two uh, of the known indie writers, Tom Joubert and Jonas Karatsis. And the guys did a tremendous job. They wrote such a great narrative and all this story about uh, transhumanism, what it means to be a human, because you're in the game you're a robot, you might have noticed that. So, And it's about what it means to be human and can AI eventually become a human. And we are a team of 20 people, but we use all the tools available. Like uh, in Telos we use photogrammetry. This is a technique um, used in, I think, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, mm -hmm. where you photograph an object from several different angles, like 360, yeah. and then you use the third-party software and convert this into a 3D model, and which looks very photorealistic in the game. So that's how we got um, the environment to look uh, as pretty as everyone is saying. You know, it's very lifelike, it's very realistic. And we even went out to Rome and to Egypt, took some pictures, you know, to, to make it even more real. Yeah. And it's a beautiful engine. What engine are you guys working in? It's actually our own proprietary engine. It's been, it's been uh, in works uh, since 1997. So it's been powering Serious Sam games, and it's been refined, and which each new Serious Sam game, it's another iteration of the engine, and it really can do everything like the other aftermarket engines, you know. Yeah. It, it can, sometimes it can even beat them. And it's, it's one of our uh, advantages, you know, having our own engine, we know how to do stuff, we can do it quickly, we can do it exactly how we want it. So that's one of the benefits of having our own engine, one of the, uh, cons is, of course, you know, you have to develop the engine for every feature you need to ask programmers and it takes time and eventually money, so... But so, um, Talos Principle is really, really awesome. Um, you see you guys returning to something like this down the road? You see yourself making, uh, uh, you see yourself making a game like Talos, like a sequel or something else down the road? Well, uh, seeing the success of Talos Principle, of course, we have a... <laughs> sequel in our minds, you know, it would be crazy, but uh, we need to come up with a story that will match or even surpass the, what we did here. So um, until we are 100% satisfied, we, we won't going to rush anything, you know, we're not, we not going to release some ju just to make a sequel. Uh, when we, we find a story that will suit uh, the world of the Talos Principle, I think we'll probably do it. All right, so, and finally, um, tell everyone where they can find the Talos Principle, how they can get a hold of it, and, um, and, and again, uh, if, you could, if you could sum up, well, where they can find Talos, and when is the next time we can hear something from Sam? Uh, I'll answer that one first, yeah. so this year, all right. Sam's gonna rock again. All right. So, <laughs> for all the Sam fans, we'll, we'll announce it, we, we, we are not sure when, Yet, but 
I think Sam 4 is going to rock. Right. It's, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and as for the Talos, are you human? <laughs> Fantastic. So thanks. Um, so um, so thanks again, Damien. Thanks, really appreciate Pleasure. it. Been here with Talos Pleasure. Principal. Um, this is it from Pac South, uh, 2015. So far, I have a few more things today. But everybody, thanks for watching it. Stay open. <laughs>